Hello and welcome to Crafting with Jane. Um, today we're playing with Lavinia stamps. Um, as I was saying to you, I went to the Creative Craft Show in Farnborough and bought a whole pile of beautiful Lavinia stamps. So we're working with the Vine branch, which I've got on my stamping platform. And we're working with some others and I will go through them as we as we work through them. So um, I'm using, again, one of my newer inks that I've, I've just started using. And I'm using for this one Twilight, which is a dark blue. But my goodness, it makes such a difference. It looks so beautiful when you're um, stamping with it. Now, this is the first time I've used this one, so I'm using my stamping platform just to see how well it comes out. I know Lavinia stamps are very detailed, so let's just have a look and see how well that comes out. I've put it on with um, just a little bit of sticky at the back because I wanted to be able to press it down really quite well. Now I'm going to stand up and I know that I'm going to be sort of at a bit of an angle because where my um, camera is literally just there. Um, you can see I've got a blue finger. I was doing some blending on a card and, uh, and I didn't come and um, turn round and um, video it. So I will probably do a duplicate of it. I was just playing around again with some of the new things that I've I've just bought. So I'm just going to try and give this as good a press as I can, particularly up in the corner up here, because I'm not sure how well that that will come out, but we'll see. Oh my goodness, look at that. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Love that. Really, really pretty. OK, so I might actually do the rest of the stamping with it. Um, let me just clean this off. I need some, let's just get some water on here. Not sure whether you can see that bit. It's probably just off. All I'm doing is cleaning the stamp, so it's not wildly exciting. Um, I just have a little cloth and um, just give it a bit of a bit of a clean over. I know some people don't even clean their stamps, but... I'm, I'm somebody who I, I do like to clean my stamps. So that's this um, vine branch. Really love the detail of this. I mean, look at all the little little bits and pieces on there. OK, so that's that one. I'll put it back in afterwards with a little piece on top. So let's move that out of the way. Then the next one I'm using is this little guy who is called Bijou. Bijou. Um, because he's tiny, you know, um, if, if somebody lives in a, um, a bijou residence, it means it, it's small and compact. So he's called bijou because he's a small and compact little owl. But I thought he was so cute that I, um, I thought, oh, I shall, I shall get him. And as I say, as I was at the craft fair, it's really nice because you can actually see them and touch them and feel them and all of those things. So you can actually see what they're like. So um, he's going to go literally sitting on the branch like that. So I'm just going to put him down like that. Oops. And again, first time of using it, as you can see, I've just taken it straight out of the packet quite what I've got on there. A bit of sticky of some sort. I have to take that off at some time. A bit of paint I think. Okay let's pick this up and we're going to do it in the nocturne again because I say I love the way it comes out and it might be just because it's um, a very new ink pad. I don't know. Um, I'm just really liking it um, and I like this colour um, instead of using black because it is just, now I'm hoping his little feet are going to go down on there. So we'll give him a good press. Say so I've no idea what that is. I have to 
take that off I think it is a blob of paint I was doing some acrylic paint and I think I've just got a blob of that on there but I will take it off with a flat blade or a pair of scissors or something um, let's see if I can get it off with if that will take it off while I'm doing it yeah it's a little bit of little bit of paint I'm only doing that while the um, while the stamp is soaking into the paper but I don't like little bits on here it goes right across his little eye so I think I'm nearly there and by that time there we go by this time it will have hopefully soaked in nicely so let's have a little press particularly around his little eyes see how that's going to come out oh yes look at that isn't he cute um, I could have done him a little bit further down but I think that that's fine I don't want him sort of right in on the things so that's lovely that's little bijou and then Give that a bit of a spray I have a little water bottle and it's literally just an old um, if you have a, a, a bottle that's got a great spray nozzle on it it's worth keeping it once it's used it, its use and this was had cosmic shimmer um, I don't even know what it was um, but it had some mica spray in it when it was first there and now I just fill it up with water and use that um, because it's a really easy and cheap way of um, cleaning your stamps. Okay, so that's our little bijou. Really like him. I think he's so sweet. Okay, so I'll put that on there and then I can put it back in its little case. Now, I've got these little dangly things, which I thought... Now, I don't know whether they're going to be... I think I'm going to have to do them short, but these are called Fairy Charms. And I just thought that they were rather pretty. I thought that they would um, they would work quite nicely. So let's take some of those out and see what they're like. And as I say, I'm going to have to, because I'm doing it on a long, thin card, I'm going to have to just do... They won't all go all the way down, so I've just got to take a little bit of them off. So I don't want to... Let's put, have one, one there, I think. We'll have one little bell there. And we'll have one. on the middle like that I think if I could move them out a little bit I quite like that sort of in about there I think I think I'll have that one there and then we'll have that one there I do I want them sort of not evenly evenly positioned because I want them to look sort of more sort of random on there so we'll just pick those up and what I need to do is to make sure that I'm only inking them just down in on the bottom bit. So if I just ink them about halfway up. I don't want them to go over the branch. They can go into it a little bit, but it doesn't want to go over the top because it'll be too heavy. So I've just inked that up. As I say, I'm not sure whether you can see the inking bit, but you can definitely see the stamping bit. So hopefully that is going to be just perfect. And again, I'm just letting it soak in a little bit. Um, this ink is just amazing. Um, I would recommend using it. It's a Versafine Claire. This is called Twilight and it's a pigment ink, which means that it, um, 
yeah it just stamps beautifully and as i say at twilight it is a blue but it just looks beautiful oh yes that's lovely look at that really pretty like that hanging down on there okay so that's that bit join those let's just give that a little bit of a clean off and I can probably give it a little bit more of a clean off when I've finished it I just like to make sure that I've got some of it off so we don't get too much on there now this is going to go back onto here so we've got these ones but they're they're just beautiful I really like those now that's a little bell and it's the sort of thing that you can do them in all sorts of, of um, you know colours and, and um, we're going to do some sponging afterwards so that we get a bit of a background and I could have done it first but I just wanted to do it get my actual stamping done first and then we'll do some colouring over the top now I've got some little birds and little hares. Now I've got the mice, but I don't think, I don't know whether I can get a mouse on there. I might be able to. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to use as many of them as I can, but I don't want it to look overly dressed, shall we say. So too many things going on, but I think it's quite nice to have a few little bits and pieces going on so I think one of these birds will fit hopefully should we have a bird up on yes little bird there and that little bird is going to be just on the top of a little branch there whoops just got to balance him that's one of the good things about a positioning tool because you can says me come on <laughs> because it's sticky I want to just get it exactly where I want it there we go um, so I think a little bird just there will work out and this is the nice thing about I love little stamps I like little stamps to build little scenes up um, because I think that that makes them look beautiful. So this is, let's put this one, little bird's going to go literally sitting right on the top of that little branch. So just give them a little press. Pick him up carefully, just in case I have to do it again. Nope, literally one one hit with these, and they're working absolutely beautiful. You know, sometimes with stamps, I have to do it two or three or four times, um, and it might be to do with the ink. I don't know. This ink is is I'm really impressed with it because it is it's just doing it straight away with just one one hit. Okay, so that's my little bird. I don't think I want any more birds on there. I think just one just literally just balances it. So these are very sweet. And there's four birds. So you could, if you wanted to, you know, add a whole, on the branch, just add a whole pile of little um, birds on there, which I thought might be quite nice for another card. Okay, so I'm going to put those over there. Um, oh, I didn't tell you what the birds were called. They are called Bird Collection. Well, that's easy to remember, isn't it? Bird Collection. But as I say, they're all they're all quite um, reasonably priced as well. Now, do I put a little hair or do I put a little... I could have a little mouse hanging down, couldn't I? Um, let me see if there's room... And I don't know whether there is. I quite like this little hanging one. Um, and I think the hanging one is probably better than... Let's have a look at this one. These are... This is Tilly and Tango. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure which one's Tilly and which one's Tango. 
I would assume probably it's it's right from left. So I think I'm going to be looking at Tilly and seeing if Tilly will hang just there. Will do, but I don't know whether I want to have a little mouse hanging on here, actually. Could have this little one. No, it's going to be too much with a mouse. So I'm not going to have the mouse on this one. I will be doing it with another one, but I might have just a little hair in the corner because I do like little hairs. And I think that that might just work on there. It might not, and that's why it's quite nice to be able to look and see. I think I will, you know. Um, I could have a little hair down on there in that little space and one there. I think, yes, I might. Um, he's quite cute as well, isn't he? But I like this one. So I'm going to have this one down in on here on this corner. Oh, I might have to turn it round to do that, actually, because it's going to be right off the page. Um, let's see this one in on here. Where did I want him? He's got to look that way, so it's got to be this one. So let's have a look and see if I can put... No, he comes too far up. So I literally just want this one. Is it this one? Yeah. I just want this one little hair there. But I'm going to take this up from here. I've got it stuck with a little piece of sticky on there, which is quite good. So I'm going to put it up this way. And then I'm going to put my little hair there because I don't want um, the paper is a bit long. I'm doing a, um, a long sized card, so that's going to work just about there. Bring them up a bit. Pop this one in like that. And I didn't tell you what these were called. This is called Wild Hairs Set Large. So I assume they do little tiny ones as well. But that is, for me, that's, that is still quite small. But I think it just balances it right at the end. So let's just put him in like that. And we'll put this in like that. And we'll just put this one here. I love this. I really do. It's always fun using new stamps and things, isn't it? And um, as I said, I, I was going to be using some of the um, British stamps. Now, I know that they do post internationally. So, you know, I know that um, one of my subscribers has bought... Um, some indigo blue products and uh, um, actually won the prize for um, some indigo blue products which was rather lovely so um, over on the indigo blue website and and again Lavinia is a UK based company um, and she draws all her own stamps a bit like indigo blue there the um, Lavinia's are all um, photopolymer but as you can see huge amount of detail on there so you don't have to worry about you know not having great detail um, so I'm not going to use the little mice so I'm just going to put this one on there so I'll put them all back in their little cases and things afterwards and I think that is all of the stamping that we're going to do so let me just take this off of here put that on there and we can take whoops we can take that off and then we've got this like that. You see, I think that that's a beautiful little composition. Now, he's a little high, but that's OK because he can be sort of, you know, offset a little bit. We don't have to have them all exactly in the same position. So now it's going to be about doing some blending and colouring and things on this. Now, I need to make sure that it is nice and dry. So I've got some scrap paper. Um, because I think this ink being a pigment ink might take a little while to dry. So I've got some old um, 
some old paper that I can put in on here and I'm just going to give it a bit of a rub to make sure that it is and we'll see when I look at it this way and see no it looks perfectly dry so that's fine so I don't have to worry about that too much um, now what colors are we going to do this I want to have I want to have um, I don't know what should we do um, I quite like the owl I think I might have the owl and and um, the branch I'm going to do in a brown I think to just sort of blend that in so I might do that with um, an alcohol marker and then I'm going to sponge round it in I think we want it sort of bright and, and pretty. So I'm going to reach up. Hopefully it's not going to go in on, on the camera. We're going to have some yellow. Um, we're going to have some orange. I think it'll be quite nice yellow, orange, and we want a bit of green down the bottom. So let's have a nice sort of bright green and we'll see how they go. I might do a darker, maybe a bit of purple right round the edge and maybe a little bit of pink in there. So those are some colours. Let's see what we can do with those. Now I'm going to do it with um, I think I'm going to do it with sponge daubers on this. So let's do, I'm going to do the green first because I don't want to come close to that. So the green is just going to come down in on this corner. So I think I might do that with a sponge dauber. Let me just grab my sponge daubers out. Um, so I'm going to do just the corner piece with a little bit of green so let's get a green out oops nearly lost my things i'm going to just put that back up in on there carefully now i want to have this with a little bit of a an edge on it so um let me have a look and see what i've got i need just a tiny little scrap so what was i doing for this on here this will work let's just take a little bit of scrap like this tear it out and we can have can we do it this way so I'm just doing this corner in on the green so that the little hair is sitting on just a little bit of green in here I'm just taking it up. Doesn't need to be too, too dark. A dark round on the edge. There we go, and we'll take that up. So he's sitting on a little hillock there, which is quite nice. Let me just make sure I take this out before I add another colour. Okay. So that's all of the green I want because obviously this is hanging down, and the hair is sort of sitting sitting at the side just sort of admiring the view so um i'm going to do round let's take this one and we're going to have start with the yellow and we're going to take the yellow in there now i haven't done the oh haven't colored in the um the owl little bijou so I probably need to do him, but I'm going to do him after I've done some of the um, the blending in on here. So this top piece, just take it in from the edge. And I'm just coming up. Just, and it doesn't matter if it just goes over it a little bit, because I'm going to colour it in, in the different colours afterwards. So, um because I'm going to be doing it with a alcohol marker. I can take it just sort of down on here 
and not worry too much. So I'm just taking all of this in with the yellow to start off with um, because I wanted to have it just coming through on here. Doing it quite carefully round the, almost like a silhouette round the actual stamping because I don't want it to be oversaturated and because it's a pigment ink I have to be a little bit careful just to make sure that it's not going to so on this I can take it but just do it quite carefully and that's one of the nice things with a blending brush because they are quite soft so it doesn't it doesn't um, affect the stamping and that's why I'm doing it quite softly over on this bit as you can see so it's not bleeding it at all okay now I want to do because I want to do no, I'm going to do it all the way round. I'm thinking of, of whether I wanted to do it all the way round or not. And I've decided I do. So again, I'm doing it quite gently in, but more colour on the outside. And it's one of those things, if you start from the bottom and work your way up, you can have your dark colour at the bottom and then work your way up on this. And as I say, I could have done the whole lot first. And I pr probably will do sponging um, first at a later date when I do it. But I just thought that it would, you can do it either way. So I just thought I, if I do it this way, then I can show you this way. And I didn't know how the stamping was going to come out the first time. So that's my yellow. Now I want some pink in on here, so I'm just going to take some pink and I'm going to add it to this one, which will make it sort of a bit orangey. And I'm just going to take this from the edge and I'm just taking it up to just give a little bit of a... You can see it's quite a bright colour so it means that you can take it from the edge first and then just bring it in so you have a bit more of a, a colour coming through so I love this sort of sunsetty type colour that through like that which is quite pretty a bit more up on here quite like it when you've got the mixture of the colors coming in together and then just because I want to I'm going to take some um, deep purple just round the edge bit and I'm using the same brush because I, I, um, I'll i wash my brushes when I've finished with them so this is just going to give a deep purple just round on the outside just round on here quite like this purple I just want it round in on corner round here like that okay so that's looking quite good I'm just going to go back and add a little bit more of the pink in um, or maybe the yellow actually because I think the yellow will um, let's just clean this off first like that 
um, it needs a little bit more right on the edge and I think I'm going to use the the pink again because I quite liked that pink um, I just need to clean this one off a little bit and then I can just go in and take the pink again and take that in around on the edge oops got a bit of a splodgy on that one Just building it up a bit. So I quite like the pink on there. It gives it more of a definition. Just round on there. So I am, I am spending a little bit more time on this, but as I've always said, I know that a lot of people won't fast forward. Um, I've got some really good subscribers who literally watch the whole thing because they can craft along with me, which is lovely. Um, so I'm 99.9% I'm .9 of the time, I do it all with... Um, in fact, I'm going to take a little tiny other brush with this yellow. 99.9% um, .9 of the time, I will just um, do it in the time that um, in real time. Sorry, I'm concentrating on doing this now, aren't I? wanted to just get a little bit of it coming down through on here okay now I've got some little splodges on here but this isn't going to matter because we're going to do a, a little water technique to it okay so that's got those bits done now what I do need to do is I want to color little bijou in and he's going to be in sort of red the orangey type colours so I want him in I'm gonna get my you're gonna have to excuse me I'm gonna get reach and hopefully as I reach this off carefully from my shelf I'm not gonna woggle the camera look at that um, right these are my alcohol markers my big set um, which I've had for ages and ages and ages. They're touch 10 ones, cheap as chips, but they work really well. And I've got a swatch in here. So what colour do we reckon that we'll have Bijou? I think a 31, so a rusty sort of brown in on there, for sort of the outside. And... Um, Probably, maybe like a 101. See if I can get 101 out. So that's a darker sort of brown. And then maybe a 36, which is a lighter sort of brown. Let's see what we can do with those. Because I don't want to have it too much. Um, so I'm going to keep that out for the minute. So I can just see what colour I'm using because as you can see it's very difficult to see from there which one's which so I want his eye parts and things in the pale one which I think is 36 yes it is so let's just do round on here to be very careful because I don't want it to go into the the blue because it's I haven't allowed it to dry enough sometimes if you if you allow and I know you shouldn't really do pigment ink 
Um, and if I was to do this, it would probably make a complete mess of it. But what I'm trying to do is to do it. Um, and I'm not going to do on the inside bits of the eye. I quite like that sort of look. So 31 is the paler one, isn't it? So what I'm doing is I'm going to take the fat. Oh dear, that looks as if it's had it that end. Uh, I'm just going to do it quite gently. And just do sort of dotty bits on here. Just to make sure that it's not going to. Yeah, you can see I'm doing it quite gently like this and it's not bleeding. If I was to scribble, it would bleed because it's a pigment ink until it's really dried. So if I'm going to do detailed colouring, I would leave a pigment ink almost overnight. And then when it was overnight, I would then look and go... OK, fine, I can now colour over it. <coughs> Excuse me. But if I just do little tiny bits like this, you can see. And this is my dotting. You know, when I'm doing like tiny little bits to the edge, I will dot. Because by doing that, you're not, you're going on top of the ink, but you're not blending it through. So it does mean it takes a little while longer, but you can get away with using it. And I could have done, I could have used some watercolours, which would have been better because there would have been no blending. But I want to blend out this with some little bit of spritzing. And if I do that, then, and I had this in watercolour, I'd lift this colour up. So I don't want to do that. I hope that explains it. But when you see it, because I've got these blobby bits on here, I don't really want them. So I can get rid of them by doing some faux bleaching or, or I don't know what they call it now. Um, just giving a little bit of a different look in the background, which I think will look quite nice. So I'm just dabbing across, doing a bit of a Monet. When Monet used to paint, he used to do everything with little tiny dots. If you've seen any of Monet's paintings, it's quite extraordinary. If you walk really close to them, all they are is a mass of little dots and you can't see anything at all. And then you walk back and they are the most amazing pictures. So... That's come out quite well. And as I say, there's no bleeding in on there, which is quite good. So that's my little owl. Um, I do want to do the um, the branch on there. Um, and I might do that with, because it's very, very detailed, isn't it? Um, have I got a very pale brown? I don't want too much brown in there, but I do want to... Let me have a look and see on a watercolour one. Um, I could do it with a... I've got this one. Let's see how brown that is. I don't want it too dark. So I'm just going to have a little look and see on here. I think that's going to be too similar to what I've just done on here. I don't want it all the same, really. Um, I could do it in green, couldn't I, with a vine? Um have a look at a green what green have I got I want a palish sort of green let's have a look at this one see what this color is that's okay so I'm going to do these just in some green to just give a little bit of definition in on here because they are vines so that they just sort of come up twisting in on top of each other and I'm not going to be colouring it all I don't think I'm just sort of doing it as I've said before one of those um, 
just sort of a loose like a wash in on there to just cover in on here these are ever so pretty coming down in twisty 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 it's quite nice as well with all the different colors and stuff coming through where we've done the yellows in underneath so i'm just and this is a watercolor one so i'm literally just going in over the top of here and as i said i'm not overthinking it i'm literally just doing the colour in over the top and down. I've just thought, I haven't done the bottom of the little owls. Um, let's do that with the pail. Um, I haven't done his little talons. There we go. So he's now got his talons in. Okay, so that's got that bit on. I don't like this splotching, as I said. So what I am going to do is, let's move that out of the way. I'm just going to take some um, some spray. Now, I use, this is um, a fan brush, which I really like because when you use it, you can get a really fine, fine mist with it. Now, I haven't got, um, I'm just going to get my little tray out, which has got all sorts of bits in it. But I'm just going to add some water in on here to save me going getting any water. Because I don't want a lot. And I'm just going to literally dip my brush in like this. So I haven't got much water on it, just enough, I think. So I don't because I don't want great big splatty bits on it. Then I'm going to put it on here and I'm just going to just give some splatters. Just like that. Not too much. Just a bit. And you can see. It's starting to work straight away. But what I need to do is, while it's just starting to move, you can probably see it moving. I'm just going to grab a piece of kitchen roll. Right, I've got a couple of pieces of kitchen roll. And you can, and if you leave it just for a minute to work, and then just smooth out the kitchen roll on top, pull it back, and you've got these lovely little. Just take this off on here. Is that a bit of a wipe? You've got these lovely little. Can you see them? Lovely little speckles coming in, which I think is beautiful. So now all I've got to do is to frame it. And um, I use, as you know, my Posca pens. And you can get your Posca pens from all sorts of places. I think they're, they're universal now. Spelt like that. Um, you can get fat ones, thick ones, thin ones, um, and I just use a black just for going around the edges because it frames it and it saves me having to use another piece of cardstock for a mat, and it does look really rather good. So I'm just taking it to the edge. And you know you've probably seen me do this quite a few times. If you're new to my channel, you won't of. But if you're new, hopefully you've enjoyed watching this. And um, will um, subscribe and watch again. 
I just looked the other day and I've got over, I can't remember how many, but over 900. I think once I get to a thousand videos, I really will have got quite a few. I, I've, I've gone from having, I, I do three a week. And I've done three a week for right the way through. And occasionally, like at Christmas time and things, I'll do a, you know, 12 days of Christmas or a 25 days of Christmas or a um, countdown to Christmas or whatever. And I tend to do a few more. And at different times of year, if I'm having a, a really mad time where I'm doing lots of cards and projects and things. There we go. So um, I could put some sentiments and things on there. I don't think I am at the moment. I just need to cut myself a card base for this, which I will do. Um, I'm not going to show you. I will probably add a few little sort of twinkly things to it as well. So I could use um, some Wink of Stella or I could just use some. Um, I quite like this. I've got this Dovecraft glitter glue, which looks quite nice. I don't think you'll see it. But I'm going to add just a few little bits of there to add a little bit of sparkle on there. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that. As always, please stay safe and well. Please be kind and look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye.